Now, Christopher, let me, before we even start talking, I want you to know I'm a big fan, buddy. I mean, if I had to make a Mount Rushmore professional wrestling, I'm sure you'd be in like my third and fourth installment, and that's big. That's big. But I heard from a little birdie, Christopher, that you wanted me to join the inner circle. It's kind of interesting that you say that, Maxwell. Because I heard from a little birdie that you wanted to join the inner circle. Christopher, I'm starting to think that you want me to join the inner circle. Maxwell, I'm starting to think that you want to join the I'm inner circle. I'm starting to think that you want me in the inner circle. Is do that you, what you're getting at? Do you want to join the inner Chris, circle? Yeah, we're getting repetitive now. We're getting repetitive now. Listen, crisscross applesauce, I'm sure you'd really love me to join your little inner circle jerk. Sorry, sorry. Freudian slip. Freudian slip, buddy. All respect to the champion. Sorry. Let me take a step back. Christopher, I heard you like to partake in, well, a little bit of the bubbly. But I'm starting to think just like all of these inbred, white trash, redneck kicks. You might enjoy drinking a little too much. Cause for you to assume that I, MJF, the youngest and fastest rising star in the history of professional wrestling needs you? That's just a little odd. Well, let me tell you this, uh, Maxwell Seashell, Seashell by the seashore. <laughs> it's funny because I think that you might want to be a little bit like Chris Jericho. Is that true? Hmm. No, I mean, think about it. Think about it. We're, we're both from Long Island. Both have three-letter nicknames. Both love scarves, funny guys, crushingly handsome. It's almost like your parents got horny while they were watching me beat up Juventud Guerrera 25 years ago on WCW Saturday night, and nine months later, your little twerp ass popped out. <laughs> I have to laugh. Who the hell is Hoovy? Google it, baby, Google it. Point being is this, I can understand why you'd want to be in the inner circle because just being in the ring with Chris Jericho puts you on a higher level, doesn't it, Max? So let me ask you once again, do you want to be in the inner circle? I don't know, Christopher. Do you want me to be in the inner circle? I don't know. Do you want to be in the inner circle? I don't know. Do you want me to be in the inner circle, Chris? Do you want to be in the inner circle, Do you Max? want me to be in the inner circle? Do you want to be in the inner circle? Do you want me to be in the inner circle? I'm gonna say this one more time. Do you want to be in the inner circle? Do you want me to be in the inner circle, Chris? All right, you know what? You know who the biggest jackass is in oh, AEW? I know. I know who the biggest jackass in AEW oh, yeah. is. Do you I'm want to say know. it right now? I'm gonna say I'm gonna, it first. Do you want to know who the biggest jackass is? I'm gonna say it first. I'm gonna say it. Cody Rose! <laughs> oh, they're so funny. Oh. They should, they should the, go on a cruise together. The worst game of who's on first I've ever seen. I like you. You're a good. Wait a oh, damn oh, oh, oh. minute. Wait just a damn minute. Take a look at that forehead. Cody is not cleared. No, not at all. He's he has no business even approaching the ring. Right, Samson's out there as well. Oh, Cody team. making the charge. Cody oh, well, exploding in the ring. Boom run for MJF and now Jericho. Oh, oh went will, for the power slam. The equilibrium's not there. He's not healthy. Oh, you're right, he's not healthy. But he's... Oh, he, he was that time. That one works. And Jericho's got to wrestle later on tonight. What the... What? Is oh, that Wardlow? Oh, oh, my God. Cody just got run over by a truck. We've seen the videos for months, but now Wardlow finally appearing 
in an AEW ring. Who is the guy? Wardlow's all I know. He's got a nice tie on. It's a Burberry tie. No, no. Oh, just planted. And this is after his body. Cody's body's been ravaged four days ago in that matchup with Jericho. Where he MJF threw the towel and it cost Cody the opportunity to leave as the champion. What did he just tell Wardlow to do? Break his. What the hell is Wardlow. he doing? Oh. Oh, now. Come on. Choking Cody with his own. With Wardlow's own tie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. Somebody help. Somebody help. Well, they're calling for ribs. Here come the referees. And Cody's face just get, get him down. Can't cut off the blood supply of the brains without a law. God almighty. What the hell else is going to happen here tonight? Is Cody all right? <laughs> you can see that. That injury he suffered at full gear has been busted open again. Doc Sampson. Yeah, those stitches busted right open. You're right, Excalibur. I thought for a minute that Cody was bleeding from the mouth. This Wardlow guy, whoever he is, wherever he's from, is a massive human being. And apparently he is the affiliated very strongly with MJF. Cody's pride, his passion. Could not be restrained here, no, ladies and gentlemen. They got the best of him. Yeah. You're right, JR. And is, is Wardlow uh, MJF's henchman? Is he his partner? We don't know. He was his henchman right there. Yeah. Yeah. He hinched all right. He hinched. It was yes, a major league did. henching. Yeah.